The WWC Puerto Rico, WWC Lucha Libra, WWCPR, or Consejo de Lucha del Mundo, though they don't say the Spanish translation, instead they use the WWC abbreviation in Puerto Rico, is a professional wrestling promotion based in Puerto Rico. It was originally established as Capital Sports Promotions in 1973 by Carlos Colón Sr., Victor Jovica, and Guerrilla Monsoon. It was a member of the National Wrestling Alliance until 1988. By the mid-1990s, the promotion had changed its name to the World Wrestling Council. In November 2018, WWE acquired the WWC Video Library. Topic History Capital Sports Promotions, with Carlos Colon, Victor Jovica and Gorilla Monsoon as promoters, co-owners of the organization, was a member of the National Wrestling Alliance until late 1988, when Gorilla Monsoon left. The company then went bankrupt as confirmed by Victor Quinones in an interview with PRWrestling.com. Following this, Thomas Collado became the owner in 1976, before Carlos Colon and Victor Jovica. Capital Sports Promotions gained fame in Puerto Rican homes soon after their TV show, Super Estrellas de la Lucha Libra, went on air every weekend on Channel 4, WAPA TV. The taped show is still aired on weekends, both Saturday and Sunday, for two hours until March 2008 when it was reduced to one hour on both Saturdays and Sundays due to declining ratings. From 1973 to 1980 it aired on Channel 11 Tele Cadena Perez Perry, then on Teleonce after the before-mentioned went off the air, on Channel 7 on Sunday evenings at 6 p.m. and on Telemundo on Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Capital Sports Promotions began touring all over the island, and with the golden era of boxing in Puerto Rico limited only to Ponce and the metropolitan area of Puerto Rico, Capital Sports Promotions took their shows to many, inner country towns where people were not used to seeing live in-ring sports events. As a result, Capital's shows usually filled the smaller town arenas. In 1983, Rick and Sanchez had taken over as Capital's main promoter, as well as becoming one of the organization's broadcasters on the television shows. He was joined by the already retired Savinovich. Some time later, Sanchez and his production company r and Television left the production of Super Estrellas due to some disagreements with the ownership of WWC. After these events, Savinovich became the main host of the programs. The World Wrestling Council was a member National Wrestling Alliance from 1979 until 1987. In 1988, American star Bruiser Brody was brutally stabbed in a WWC anniversary event in Bayamon which he died from later on that night. The man who stabbed him was fellow wrestler and booker Jose Gonzalez, known as Invader I. Apparently, the two men had a real life feud that led to a confrontation in the locker room, that concluded with Brody receiving stab wounds to his chest and stomach. The only one to witness the series of events that ended in the death was Tony Atlas. Atlas said he saw both men enter the shower area of the locker room. As Tony looked over to Carlos Colon, he then heard sounds and seen Brody hunched over with Jose Gonzalez brandishing a bloody knife about to finish Brody off. Tony and Carlos rushed to break it up along with several angry wrestlers. After Brody's death, and the failed conviction of the murder due to all witnesses testifying against him receiving subpoenas a week after the trial ended, WWC went through some difficult years, due to the fact that the flow of wrestlers that came from the United States suddenly ended. In a crisis that the WWC never overcame, many wrestlers thought that the administration of the WWC actually helped Brody's murderer go free and actually allowed him to continue to wrestle after the events. 
By the mid 1990s, the organization changed its official name to World Wrestling Council. Women also began to have an ever increasing presence in the organization during that decade. With the turn of the century came some changes that troubled the franchise. A small promotion called International Wrestling Association IWA, promoted by Victor Quinones, became WWC's biggest competitor when it made an alliance with wrestling giant the World Wrestling Federation WWF, which in turn brought American superstars to IWA. Following the passing of Hurricane Maria over Puerto Rico, the WWC headquarters lost power for a prolonged time period due to infrastructure damage. In response, the promotion issued licenses to some of its wrestlers to participate in the local independent scene, barring some creative limitations that prevented them from being booked in clean defeats. As of December 2017, WWC's one-hour weekend shows on WAPA-TV continued to rerun the last several episodes produced prior to Maria. Almost five months after the hurricane, WWC confirmed its return with new episodes of the weekend shows consisting of newly recorded commentary and interview segments mixed with repeats of high-profile matches, leading up to a new live event on March 3, 2018. On July 23, 2018, longtime talent Ramon Alvarez aka El Bronco No. 1 and Engel Landolfi unveiled a spin-off based in the Dominican Republic, WWC Doctor, receiving the support of Colin and Jovica who loaned both the trade name and logo for use. Its first event was scheduled for October 28, 2018, featuring talent from both WWC such as Carlito, Gilbert, Thunder and Lightning and local competitor WWL Superstar Ash, Angel Fashion and Vanilla Vargas. <laughs> Roster Topic Others Topic Referees Topic Main Wrestling Events Topic Championships Topic Current Topic Defunct and Inactive Topic See also Professional Wrestling in Puerto Rico List of Professional Wrestling Promotions